In this video, we're going to go over some basic motion graphics templates. Uh, so what I want to first start off with is it doesn't matter if you guys have a professional video here or you have an image. Motion graphics are going to be found by um, coming up to window and pressing essential graphics. All right. Then you will see this panel pop up that says essential graphics on the right hand of your screen. If you still don't see that, you can click on the graphics um, tab or you can come up to window workspaces and make sure that you're in the graphics tab and you'll see on the right hand side this essential graphics panel. Now you can browse all the uh, graphics that come with Premiere Pro or in a separate tutorial I will actually show you how to you know bring in your own like some of these ones that you can see. So um, most of them are very very similar. I'm going to go ahead and drag in this motion graphics template for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, you will need um, After Effects installed for some of these graphics templates um, because they will only work if you have After Effects installed. So as you can see, this text kind of preset automatically uh, came up into the screen. And if I watch it, it already has kind of like an animation. And so just customizing this is going to be, you know, a better option. So I'm going to walk you guys through some customization settings. So first off, I'm going to take this background image and just lower the opacity a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. And if we click and highlight on this title, we will get uh, an essential graphics options. Okay, as long as we're up, we make sure you click edit. And then we can take a look at all of these options. Now each motion graphics template is going to have slightly different options. So I'm going to bring in another one, um, just for the sake of this tutorial so that we can view, uh, you know, some different um, options for this specific different templates. Okay. So here we have another one. I'm going to bring this guy up a little bit and let's just scale it to frame size. Move it over so that we can just look at both of these next to each other. So as you can see, if I click on this gaming lower third, we're going to see that it has some styling options, a grid option, subtitle and title options. If we click on this elegant title motion graphic, we have um, options to change the text, uh, the font, and the position, and then we have, you know, a little color uh, change that we can make. So again, you guys can just see that these are both slightly different, and chances are the essential graphic that you install and want to work with are going to be slightly different as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at what customizing some of this stuff is going to look like. So we are here selected on the Elegant Title 1. And this color one text, if we do change that, let's say we want to make it a nice blue, it's going to change the entire text to blue. If we wanted to, you know, change it to yellow, it's going to change that first initial text to yellow. Now we can also change, you know, this um, text. So we can say title this, for example, and that's going to change the text. We can also change the font. All right. So this is really awesome. It allows us to customize, um, you know, a lot of different options. All right. So we can change the font and we can, you know, stylize the text. We can make it bold. We can make it italic uh, if, you know, the font actually has italic, right? So those are going to be customizable on depending on the font. And then you know, we can increase or decrease the scale of the text. Now, sometimes on these motion graphics templates, there are kind of barriers that we need to stay within. So, you know, just keep that in note when you're switching from fonts and titles. And then we could change the position of the text as well here. Text one, we can bring it, you know, over to the right. We can move it again. Just be uh, mindful that there are barriers on a lot of these motion graphics templates. Same goes for the bold titles. I'm going to simply copy and paste that title into the this section and you know I can change the font as well just as we did before with the above. Let's do some century gothic. 
as you guys can see we can change that and we can increase the size we can move the position okay but increasing the size too much looks like it made our text disappear there our text is okay so we can also change the color Let's say we want to change the color to a you know kind of light blue uh, neon well we can okay and then once we're done kind of getting the general customization of this we can come over to the essential graphics um, effects controls for this title and we can actually like change you know the position we could change the opacity of the motion graphic you know all the standard um, changes that we can make from the effects control panel so hopefully that was helpful with in, um, customizing your motion graphics let's take a look at this gaming lower third and just see if there's any differences so here we got the same thing we got ready player one we can change the font we can make it cursive you know we can do all this crazy stuff um, we have the animation speed that's cool it allows you to change the speed so we could make the speed really really fast um, and that's going to make these grid you know uh, animate much faster right to the left okay the direction angle it's at 45 as you can see that's changing this background um, this background squares here as you see we uh, so playing with all these settings is going to kind of give you an idea of how much customization you can have with this specific template and then I can change the main color I assume that that's going to be the background color um, let's see what it did when I changed it to black you guys can see there you have your secondary color your highlight color um, your subtitle color that's going to be this uh, lower text here let's make that red just so you guys can see how we can kind of customize the color of all of these um, templates the highlight color this top bar we can change we can make it like a green just try to make this as ugly as possible <laughs> but the goal is to just show you guys what you can do and then of course once you're satisfied I'm not satisfied I need to change this font to something that's like a little more all right and then we can move you know the position so you could have this title coming in from the top uh, you could have it you know just as a lower third for your YouTube video or for your game um, and that is a introduction to customizing motion graphics templates so go ahead and you know browse what you currently have feel free to you know watch the other tutorials to learn how to install new ones and we'll see you guys in the next video.